Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading for September. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. We're going to do a simple past, present, future spread for you today. But I'm going to start off with a couple of astro cards. And towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling a few charms and tea leaves for you. So make sure you stick around for that. Now, we have fire and we have square. Some of you may be on the cusp with Aries. <clears throat> or you may have fire heavily in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But let's see what squares do we have happening this month. We have Jupiter semi-squaring Saturn and we have Jupiter semi-squaring Uranus on the 21st and the 28th. Now, fire talks about confidence, optimism, passion and bravery and square talks about a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. Now, I feel like with the squares that we have happening with Jupiter, now Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, which again is a fire sign. It talks about well subduing optimism to, to an extent uh, and especially the, the squares that we have with Saturn and Uranus. It talks about trying to break the mold and do your own thing and be rebellious and be optimistic and confident and brave and follow your dreams and then someone suddenly putting a set of rules in front of you that well you cannot do that. That is what I'm getting here. And I feel like you may have been fired up to do something for yourself, whether it is follow a career path or get into a relationship or just be authentic to yourself. And then someone tells you, well, that's not appropriate. You shouldn't do that. What are people going to think? That's what I'm getting here. But let's see. Let's pull your tarot to see what this could be regarding. Um, do we have anything happening in Taurus right now? Yeah, on the 6th, we have the North Node in Taurus, semi-sextiling Chiron in Aries, which talks about healing. Let's see, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see, what was in the recent past for Taurus? Oh, goodness. We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Death or the Transformation card. Now, again, you may have Scorpio heavily in your chart, doesn't have to be, but this, this sense of transformation uh, was in Aries' reading as well. So if you're on the cusp, I would watch that. With the Eight of Swords, I feel like you've been in your head. Uh, you may have felt restricted. You remember I was talking about being well restricted, not being able to be free and be optimistic. Now that cage is open. You can fly away if you want to. But it's almost like societal norms or something is some kind of social construct is holding you back. It could even be a sense of well tradition that it, this isn't okay. I, I can't do this. I'm not allowed to do this. And it could even be a self-imposed restriction. But there is transformation happening and I feel like you are finally going to break you have broken out of that cage we are talking about the recent past right here with the seven of pentacles I feel like there is a sense of confidence here I don't usually get this with the seven of pentacles but I'm getting it right now there is a sense of well I have invested in myself very wisely I know exactly who I am I know I'm not going to stray it's okay for me to take a risk now it doesn't really matter what people say you know what I'm saying so let's see let's see what is in the present for you oh yes oh yes i love it i absolutely love this we have the king of cups we have the king of wands you are finally feeling like yourself and we have the fool it's almost like you're saying to hell with it to hell with it all i'm going to do what i feel is good for me absolutely you know, these, these squares with, with Saturn and Uranus, it's almost like a tiff between a very strict grandfather and a rebellious grandchild who wants to break the rules and climb trees and doesn't really care if he gets hurt or not. And the grandfather is putting rules and restrictions that no, you're going to fall, you're going to, you know, stay within the box. And you're finally like, I am done staying within the box. I'm going to follow my passions. I'm going to let that fire lighten my heart and do what it is that I want to do overcoming those challenges and those mountains and those obstacles i feel like with the full card now this is aries energy 
um, it's almost like you see how she's walking down that path and she, she's happy. She, she has a little companion to, to speak to and she's admiring the flowers mm-hmm. and it's a beautiful little journey that she's on. She doesn't realize that, well, it is a crocodile's tail at the end of the day. So there could be pitfalls, right? That is why the risks that we take need to be calculated. So, and I feel like you're calculating them. With the King of Wands, again, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like <clears throat> you have your eye on the price. There is something that you are very focused on and it's almost like a laser focus. And because you're so passionate about achieving whatever this is, it's almost the success is almost guaranteed. What I love here is you have the King of Wands and the King of Cups together. This is that calculation. This is the risk. This is the calculation. You see how the King of Cups is very cool, calm, collected. And he makes sure that it's, it's, you know, the people around him are protected. Not just the people around him, but himself as well. There is a sense of self-preservation here. There's a sense of putting yourself out there, but making sure you don't get burnt. So I like that. There is stability as well as drive. <clears throat> I don't know what this is for you. Okay, then. I didn't ask for them, but they popped up and they're beautiful, so I'm taking them. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Empress. Taurus, this reading is phenomenal. All righty, then. With the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you are nurturing and protecting yourself. And the Queen of Pentacles is known for that. You see how she she knows how to admire beauty. She helps nurture well, flora and fauna around her. You see those rabbits right there. They represent fertility. And for me, the Queen of Pentacles is one of the most beautiful aspects of the Empress. Now, there is no gender in tarot. Just take the energy with you. But I feel like this, this self-preservation and the sense of looking after yourself, taking care of yourself, putting your oxygen mask on before you help anybody else is what is going to help you shine. This is what is going to help you grow. From the Death card, you're reaching the Empress. I feel that it's almost like everything you touch is going to turn to gold because you're finally being able to be authentic to yourself. With the chariot, I feel like there is a sense of having to balance yin and yang. And what I mean by that is balancing the energy of receiving and giving. I feel like sometimes if we sit in the king of wands energy, if we sit in the energy of yang, of just giving, doing, taking action, it can deplete us, right? With the King of Cups, I feel like you need to sit yourself down, be calm enough to start receiving as well. <clears throat> you need people to fill your cup before you start, well, filling everybody else's. That is what is going to make you achieve that balance. That is what is going to help you achieve that sense of wholesomeness, almost. That's what I'm getting here, wholesomeness and integration of the two. <clears throat> Now, what again, one more thing that I absolutely, absolutely love about this is the Empress is Venusian energy <clears throat> and Venus rules you as well as Libra. Now, Libra could be important. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could have it heavily in your chart, but you see how much authenticity there is here. I almost feel like the people you are surrounding yourself with, they may have questioned you. They may have questioned who you are and your capabilities and that in turn made you question yourself. No more, I feel. I feel like that's in the past. I feel like you are finally saying that, well, I have invested in myself wisely. I know exactly who I am. To hell with old traditions, to hell with the box, I'm creating my own. And through the creation of these new traditions, it's, it's adding that fuel and giving you that boost and that momentum to achieve your goals and your dreams. Absolutely stunning. Very short reading, but then, well, what's the point of extending it? It's been so beautiful. Um, let's get you a couple of tea leaves before we pull some charms. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Come on, man. Seven of Pentacles. That is Seven of Pentacles energy. You've put in the right energy into the right people, places, thoughts and situations. And that is going to bear fruit for you. <clears throat> Seahorse, family matters. Let's get one more for this. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. All right. Well, could be somebody within your family dynamic who you don't trust completely. Who? Okay. Yeah. So maybe we have been talking about the square. We have been. I'm sorry. If you can hear drilling, there's a house being constructed next door. The person who was putting those restrictions on you, 
I don't know if this was a family dynamic, it was a mother, father, mother figure, father figure, sibling, but someone was keeping you stuck with the Eight of Swords. Someone was putting a damper on that confidence and optimism. No more, I feel. Vine, seek out information that will help you. I'm getting psychology. Do a little reading on psychology, on the human mind, on hormones, on chemicals. I don't know why I got that. Pay attention to your finances. Invest wisely. Again, I put my cards, place my cards intuitively. It's very close to the Seven of Pentacles. It talks about investment. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. I would look forward to that. I feel like once you start feeling like yourself, once you're in this Empress energy, you're going to become highly magnetic if you aren't already. Gong. An exciting event. Beautiful. I would look forward to that. The festive season is around the corner. So... There's going to be a lot of excitement surrounding that. Let's see what we have for you when it comes to your charms. This aircraft is showing up a lot. We have a broken heart. We have a snowflake. We have a music note. We have an aircraft and we have the letter W. Now W could be your initial, could be the initial of someone you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like this broken heart, whatever this was for you, I feel like music has been a soothing balm. That's what I feel. And some of you may actually be singers or musicians. And I feel like that is what has helped you heal and transform and grow. When it comes to the snowflake, I feel like winter time is going to be very transformational. It's going to be very healing. That is when you may even be traveling. It is possible with the aircraft and the snowflake. You could be traveling to a colder country. Um, <clears throat> but either way, I feel like it's going to be transformational. It's going to bring back that faith and optimism. And it's going to bring about a sense of, ah, you know, like relief. All right. That was it for you, Taurus. I hope this helped you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.